everyone, it's Katie. Today I'm going to show you how I made my two jewelry cloches. This is so perfect for on top of your dresser to display your bracelets and watches. And it's super easy and inexpensive. So if you want to see how I made them, then keep on watching. Let's start out with the supplies you are going to need. Number one, you're gonna need your first jar. I got this jar at Joann's Fabrics for $3.99. I love the shape and I thought it would be so perfect um, for the bracelets. I don't know, it just looks really fancy and nice. And then you're gonna need a base for this jar since it doesn't come with anything. So I bought this 99 cent mirror at Joann's as well and it's just gonna act as a base just like this. You're gonna need a second jar, unless you just wanna make one, that's fine. Or if you wanna make three or four, you need three or four jars. This one is just a empty candle jar from Bath & Body Works. You're gonna have to keep the top of it because that's gonna act as the base for this jar. I got two little drawer knobs from Home Depot, $1.49 each, and I thought they matched the bases of the candles. I think it looks a lot more put together if the knob and the bases match, and you're going to need Gorilla Glue to um, glue on those knobs to our jars. You're also going to need a piece of fabric, any color that you'd like. This is just the one I had because you're going to have to cover the inside of the Bath & Body Works candle top. To glue that on, you're going to need Mod Podge or any fabric glue will work. You're going to need a wooden, like, what is this, stick um, in order for your bracelets to stack up on top of each other. That I got at Michael's for 59 cents. You're going to need some sandpaper and then a screwdriver, a pencil, a paintbrush, and some scissors. Also, to paint your wooden stick, you can use paint or I used spray paint and you can use any color you'd like. Lastly, you're going to need your Windex and your paper towel for some cleaning supplies. To start this project off, I am taking our wooden stick and measuring out um, the height of it. You don't want it too, too high where it reaches the top of the glass, but you don't want it too short because um, then that will just look silly. So a nice height, giving some room for the stick. I'm measuring it out with my pencil and then I'm not trying to break a saw out. So I'm using scissors, so definitely be careful. You don't want to cut your finger off. Next up, I'm going to sand off the ends of my wooden sticks so they're nice and straight. And then I'm going to spray paint them both, that way they have time to dry and I can work on another piece of this DIY. I am going to take my two jars, well just this one for right now, and clean it. You want it nice and clean, you don't want any spots or particles on there. I'm gonna take out my Gorilla Glue. You guys can pretty much use any glue, just make sure it's a heavy duty glue. I'm placing some on the drawer knob and placing it right in the middle of the jar. And this is the most important part, you need to let the jars sit and for the glue to really stick on the glass. That way they don't break when you pick it up. Now it's time to work on the base of our Bath & Body Works candle. The, all candles come with this weird like plastic lining. You're going to need a screwdriver and get some leverage on it and then you can just literally peel it off like I'm doing and then you're left with this gross bottom. We're going to cover that up with our fabric and yes, you can see tons of cat hair. If you're like me and live with animals, you better keep a limp brush around. But I'm just mapping out my little circle with a pencil, not going to be 100% uh, sure if you guys can see it. Yep, yeah, there it is. And I'm just going to use my sis sisters. I'm going to use my sisters to help me cut this circle out. Now I'm using my limp brush to get all that cat hair off and I'm using my Mod Podge. Any fabric glue would work guys, you don't have to go out and buy it. I'm taking my paintbrush and just painting the Mod Podge on and then I'm just going to take my fabric piece and place it right on that base. And like I said before, you can use any color fabric you want. Um, I thought a dark color would look nice, so that's why I chose it.
Now that my sticks are nice and dry, I'm taking my Gorilla Glue out and placing these sticks right in the middle of their bases. Remember the mirrored base is the one for our first jar and then the one with the fabric on it was for our Bath & Body Works candle. You guys don't need to even use a candle jar, you can just buy two glass jars at like the dollar store or something and buy mirrored bases, they're like 99 cents. So whichever you guys want to do, that's perfectly fine. Once the bases are dry, then you place your jewelry cloche on top and they look so pretty! As you can see, I placed my jewelry cloches right on top of my dresser and this is how they are empty. Let's start layering up these bracelets, shall we? Our first jewelry cloche is complete. On to the next one. My second cloche is done and just a little tip guys, you can put all of your watches in one of these and look how cute it is. So this completes my DIY video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, these jewelry cloches look so chic, um, it almost looks as if I went out and bought them. This cost me less than $20 to make, so definitely like this if you want more DIY videos and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye.